Can we play this? What is this? That looks fucking disgusting. Okay, um, my name is Alex Hall. I'm the founder of The Big O. Uh, we're looking for 150,000 pounds worth of investment for a 15% stake in our company. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Um, about three and a half years ago, um, I saw a niche in the market for a pre-packed marinated delicatessen style olive to put alongside crisps and peanuts for the um, pub and bar market. We wanted to build an olive brand as KP is to peanuts, Walkers is to crisps, we wanted to be the big O <coughs> is to olives. And had it not been for major teething problems with our Spanish suppliers, we'd be well on our way to achieving our business plan. 44 months. Numbers wise, um, our plan wants to deliver 4.5 million turnover within three years. And that's actually incredibly conservative. Alex is looking for £150,000 and is prepared to give away 15% of her company. Dragon's Den rules dictate she must get at least what she asks for or she won't get a penny. So, tell me, how have you funded Guile. getting to this stage? I've got, I've got a business brain. You know, I'm always thinking of ideas. Um, and I got a prototype pot made for nothing and said, I want olives in here with a six-month shelf life. Who designed the um, tree? Me. You, you designed the, the tree, so you own the rights to that tree. Yeah. All, all this design's been registered and trademarked? Yes, yeah, uh, the pole and the dispenser is patented. With the packaging finished and the patents in place, the business seems promising. And new dragon Theo Pafitis is clearly enjoying the taste of the product. Doug Richard, though, wants to know more about the market for the Big O. Did I understand that your inspiration for the product and the way it's designed and the packaging and the ease of use, it, you said you wanted to be right next to the other sort of snacks that one gets when they're buying a it beer. Was the inspiration was for the pub and bar market. So can you just talk me through what evidence you currently have, what level of success you've had in reaching that pub and bar market? Uh, right, well, yes, I mean, I can. Um, Good. The phone rings all day and we don't have any product to sell them. <laughs> that, um, it's a lovely, that's, that's a lovely anecdote, but I was actually looking for a little more <laughs> sort of substance than that. No, no, well, you'll get more substance. Um, basically, I don't know, what do you want to know, big names? I'm just looking to know that your product is actually being used by a customer that they like and that there's okay. some sort of evidence to support that. Real yeah. straightforward question. Um, <laughs> well, I can, yes, I mean, it is straightforward, although our sales don't reflect uh, what the company could do because we've had inconsistent suppliers. You still have so many, how many of these, have? one pub sales in a week? I, sorry, I can't answer that question so directly because it's so different. You know, you might get your country village pub that's selling one every three days, right? But you might get your busy city pub that will be selling 48 in a day. It varies. I mean, e and well, average. How many of these is one pub we, Is it 10 uh, or is it 100? One. One a day. Alex has finally given the dragons an answer, but it's not the one they were looking for. The big O may look good, but its slow sales have astonished the dragons, and the business looks it's fragile. My birthday pump. In spite of her resistance, Theo Pafitas is determined to find out how these sales translate into revenue. Alex, when did you start supplying bars? Uh, November 2003. Right, 2003. And what's been the turnover of sales so far? Uh, I can answer that question, but I don't think it's that relevant because we've had we very inconsistent supply. It's absolutely relevant. Why? Because I want to know what you've sold since November 2003. In well, I'm sorry, but that, what, that, 
the relevance of that, I mean, if we had had continual supply... But you didn't have continual yeah, no, supply. No, we didn't, and we haven't been able to get our hands and on enough And how product. much turnover have you done in that time? We have 1,200 uh, customers <sighs> on limited, limited, limited supply. Alex, please answer the question. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer that question because yeah. it's not relevant. It's not relevant. But it is to me. If you're not right, going to answer okay. my question, then I'm out. I'm out. Alex's defensive behaviour has cost her the interest of Theopophetes, and it's not endearing her to the rest of the dragons either. Duncan Bannatyne wants some straight answers. Alex, tell me exactly what is the problem you had with your Spanish supplier? Explain it. Have you ever dealt with the Spanish? Never. Right. <laughs> well, is, there, is anyone Spanish here? You are our Portugal <laughs> Omega Lama. Um, dishonesty uh, might be number one, key, key number. In what way? One. Well, they'd say things or put something in the product that shouldn't be in the product and wouldn't let us know, uh, so it wouldn't be on the label. And it was just totally dishonest. Alex is on a collision course. She needs £150,000, but her sweeping statements about the Spanish have pushed Doug Richard over the edge. You really caught me off guard when you maligned an entire nation because one supplier. You really, uh, it, it makes, you, you sound like a, uh, you're a wild gun. Telling me that all of the Spanish are dishonest. Have you ever dealt with the Spanish? Um, yes, I've dealt with honest Spanish and dishonest Spanish. If that's the kind of comment you're willing to make, God only knows what else you'll say. And so I, I lose some faith in your judgment okay. there. Um, so I won't be invested. Doug Richard is out and things are about to get worse. Alex, if you look deep, deep d down inside yourself, Sorry, Chad. you know Corn dogs. this product doesn't sell, and that's your problem. So really, you haven't got a production problem. That's not the problem. It is. You can't we buy don't enough have any because, salt. okay, you, okay, okay. I just, you yeah. know, Alex, you just well, won't listen to anybody. Happened? I just don't think you know why you're giving ears. Alex has now lost the interest screen. of three dragons, but she's still refusing to acknowledge their concerns. The link open Only earlier. Rachel Elnor we and Peter Jones down. are left, okay, minute, and her bid for the £150,000 investment is on the verge of collapse. Alex, I, I'm Peter. I'm sitting here and I'm absolutely baffled. I think it's firstly one of the worst pitches I've seen to date. Sorry. Um, you've mentioned that you've got a business brain. I've Do yet to see any inclination that you actually know Maybe what you're doing. Right. So the biggest problem that I've got is I'm now focusing on somebody that actually I don't want to invest in, regardless of how good this is. So you've completely lost me. You've lost Wait, me. Oh, that is insane. Look at this. Holy Chad. That actually looks insane. What, uh, what's my badge? 39 months, much Damn. love, brother. Damn! Man, that is worth keeping this fucking sub alive. Jesus. Well, I'm also out. Rachel Elnor is Alex's last hope. You've come across this incredibly hard work, and this is your pitch. Mm. We are selling yourself and your olive product and your business concept to us. Mm. Business is about problems, and actually one of the biggest tests of a successful entrepreneur is whether you hey, can yo, successfully get over those Steve hurdles or whether they which we're defeat doing. you. Which we're doing. Well, it's two and a half years down the line. You've got through all of your cash, and all you can say is, really, it's, it's the supplier's fault that you haven't created a successful business. Now, actually, I quite like the product, and I personally like olives a lot, and I can see there's a gap in the market. Whether you can actually make it work or not is quite another matter, and mm. that's where I would have the problem in, in investing. So it's, it's not one for me, so I'm out. You know what? I do think that the UK shows are decent has been demolished and, by and the they make them bad. We found that her defensive manner and is refusal better. to divulge the basic details of her business made it impossible for them to invest. I've got to say, that is an example of how not to get an investment. It could be a good product. It was irrelevant because she was such, so, so egotistical. The Very wrong high maintenance. Anybody who is, feels comfortable asking whether anybody hears Spanish so she can feel free to slag off an entire nation, it is the mo it is reprehensible behavior. If she behaves like that, she will Chat. do other things later. Chat, anybody want to happen with the um, with the bullet ball? I think it was called. What happened to that? 